Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I would like to share with you a fantastic chess puzzle which I found in old Soviet chess magazine Chess in the USSR. The puzzle was composed by Alek Petrovich Mazur and the task is to win with the white pieces. You can post the video and try to find the solution. Just for your orientation, these pawns are moving towards the first rank. Ready? Well, as you can see right now, the rook on b2 is hanging, but of course the rook is untouchable because this can allow black to go for a queen promotion with a check. That's why instead of winning that rook, white comes up with a cunning winning strategy and plays knight e4. Look at this beautiful move. Of course, this allows Black to go for a pawn promotion, but for example, if you promote your C pawn to a queen, then you can get checkmated from F to square, or after knight e4, if you promote your H pawn to a queen, then this time white can announce a check from C3, and after king C1 can sacrifice his rook, and after rook takes C2 can announce a study like checkmate. Look at these guys. That's why after knight e4, black is giving away his rook by playing rook b3 check. By the way, instead of playing knight e4, let's just have a quick look at knight h1, which looks tempting, although this is a false path, and in this case, all white can do is to draw the game. Of course, black won't go for a pawn promotion because can get checkmated. That's why after knight h1, black rook is becoming a mad rook, black is sacrificing his rook and after king takes b1, can go for a knight promotion and then can win the rook on e2 and this is a draw. That's why in order to win the game, white is playing knight e4 and black is giving away his rook like in the previous line. White is capturing it and black is promoting his pawn to a knight in order to prolong his resistance. White is playing king b2, knight takes e2, but unlike the previous variation which I showed, the knight is not on h1, is on e4, and this makes a huge sense. And in here, white is playing knight f3 with a direct mating threat. For example, if you promote your pawn to a queen, then you can get checkmated. That's why after knight f3, black is promoting his second pawn to a knight in order to cover the f2 square. But now white is making a waiting move, is placing his king on b1, after which black is in Tsuk Tsavang. Whatever move you make with one of your knights, you are getting checkmated. If knight c3 check, then knight takes c3 checkmate. Look at this checkmate, guys. Yes, it's hard to believe, but this is a checkmate. Or after king b1, if knight g3, then this time knight f2 checkmate is coming. Just a fantastic chess puzzle, guys, and if you liked it, don't hesitate to share with your friends. Well, if this puzzle was too complex for you, take a look at this position, please, and try to find the winning line for white. I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching. If you like this puzzle, give the thumbs up. For more puzzles, consider subscribing to my channel. Also, press the bell button to get notified about new uploads. I will see you in my next video.